fuck is going down, everybody? It's your boy, the Sauce Man X. Check it back at your niggas with another goddamn video. But anyways, man, you already see it by the title. This is going to be the fucking Q&A. This is going to be my official Q&A. So I'm actually pretty fucking excited, okay? I'm actually pretty excited for this shit. So as I said on my Q&A video, video saying that I was going to do a Q&A, I did the shit, okay? I did the fucking shit. I said I'll give you motherfuckers about a week, but it's only been six days. But considering the fact that I have not really gained that much comments within the past few days, I figured that I'll just do this shit right now. And I said it was going to be about a week, not exactly a week. So I have a lot of fucking questions to answer, and I'm actually really proud of this shit, okay? I'm actually kind of surprised. I'm actually really proud of this shit, okay? I'm actually really proud that I was actually able to get a lot of fucking comments, because I was really not expecting it. Initially, when I fucking uploaded the goddamn shit, I was not expecting get to get this many fucking comments. I didn't expect to get over 40-something questions to answer in this bitch. So there's a huge shout-out to everyone who asked the fucking question. And if your question is potentially shadow banned or some shit like that, I probably won't get it to part two. And considering the fact that I got so many goddamn questions slash comments, because some people did send questions, but they weren't actually questions. They were just fucking comments that were just sentences and shit. But if you, if you're not, if you are, if your comment did get shadow banned, you're probably going to be in part two of this shit, because I'm going to read it from uh, the top comments all the way to the newest fucking comment. So huge shout out to everybody who sent a comment, and as I said, any question that I see, any comment that I see, I'm going to answer the fucking shit. So, uh, let's see, first of all, before I get into this shit, let me count this shit, okay? Let me fucking count this fucking shit. So we have like, okay, so we have like 36, so I have 36 Fucking questions to answer that do not even count the ones that are shadow banned. So we have 37. Okay, we maybe we have 38. Okay, 39. This one motherfucker sent me like 20 goddamn questions. So this is going to be crazy as fuck. So, yeah, I would say that I approximately have 40 questions. So, considering the fact that this is going to be like a 40 fucking questions, this is probably going to be part one of two. So, if you're seeing this and it says part one of two in the fucking uh, title... It part two is most likely uploading at this fucking point. I probably sent a comment saying that part two is fucking uploading. And if you, I did not get to your question in this goddamn video, it's definitely going to be in the next fucking video if you sent a comment at least today. Okay, at least today and the day that you see this shit uploaded. So I got a few comments today in this bitch. So without further ado, let me just go ahead and get started with this goddamn Q&A. Okay, this is probably going to be taking up the entire video. And as I said, if a video is under 30 minutes, I got to fucking stop that shit. Or if the video is about to hit 30 minutes, I got to stop the shit because YouTube does not allow me to fucking send questions. They do not allow me to upload videos that are over 30 minutes for some weird reason. But anyways, man, this is going to be fucking crazy. So let me get started with this shit, okay? Let me get started with this shit. We have a few co top comments, so I'm going to start from the top comment, and then I'm going to work my way down to the what's on the below of the top comment, then I'm going to go to the newest comment, or the ones that were fucking shadow banned. Because if you send like a cuss word or your comment was too long, it's most likely going to be shadow banned. It's probably going to be in the next video. So without further ado, my niggas, let me get started with this goddamn Q&A, okay? Let me get started with this fucking Q&A. So first question is by this motherfucker named... King Uzi TV. Okay, I think I heard of this motherfucker before. Huge shout out to King Uzi TV. I think he's been a long time supporter and subscriber to this channel. At least he commented on a lot of my videos, even though I'm not sure if he subscribed or not. But huge shout out to King Uzi TV. Has been watching my content for a very long time. I remember this motherfucker. So he asked me, what is your favorite NFL team? Okay, what is my favorite NFL team? I'm surprised this comment actually got a few fucking likes. But I do not have a favorite NFL team, okay? I'm just saying it right there. I do not have any type of favorite NFL team simply because I do not watch the NFL. I think the NFL is overrated as hell in my opinion considering the fact that there's only 16 games, which I think that I was always ridiculous. But I'm not a fan of the NFL. I do not watch the NFL. I only watch like the last four divisions or the last four fucking conferences or whatever. I don't really watch or the Super Bowl and shit. That's the only thing. That's the only games I watch from the NFL. So I really do not give a fuck about it. So I can't answer that question. I do not have a favorite team. I do not follow football at all. And I think football as a whole is simply overrated. Simply because bullshit. Okay, it's only 16 fucking games. There's only 16 fucking games within an NFL season. And that kind of just ruins everything in my opinion. And you can only watch a fucking team, you know, Mondays. Sundays and Thursdays or some shit like that. So it honestly, it's it just it just doesn't make sense to me. It honestly just does not make sense to me. So compared to the NBA, where you get to watch that shit, but no, I do not have a favorite NFL team. Ah, fuck. <coughs> so next question is by the same motherfucker, it's King Uzi TV. Comments again. He asked me scariest story that ever happened to you. This comment also got four likes. I'm surprised people actually want to know about this shit. But scariest story that ever happened to me. 
I really, I, again, I feel like I can't even answer that question, my nigga. I, I can't answer that question because I don't really have any scary stories. I don't know exactly what you mean by that. Maybe there was one story that I fucking have where I almost got ran over by a fucking car or some shit when I was riding my fucking bike when I was like seven years old, but I wouldn't really consider that shit scary. It's just that it just almost died. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's nothing really scary about it. So I can't really answer that question. The closest I've been to having a scary story was like, when there was a fucking tornado warning or some shit, and I thought my fucking house was going to be hit by a fucking tornado or some shit. Like, I don't even fucking know. So I can't really answer that question. They haven't really had a scary story that happened to me other than having fucking nightmares or some shit when I was a kid. But I can't really answer that question, so I don't really have any type of scary story. No paranormal activity has ever happened to me. You know, I've never seen ghosts before or whatever, so I can't really answer that question. But thank you for sending the goddamn question, King Uzi TV. Huge shout out to him. So next question. Is by this nigga named Bigfoot. He asked me, who's the goat for basketball? Wait, who's the goat for you in basketball, okay? I never heard of this nigga before, Bigfoot, but, you know, who's the goat in basketball for me? Michael Jordan, okay? I don't know exactly what he means by this question. I don't know if he was trying to say that, you know, who's the goat in basketball for me, like something that I would consider the goat, even though he's not really the goat objectively. But regardless of which way he phrased the fucking question or which way he was trying to, you know, get an answer out of me, if I'm still going to answer Michael Jordan, he's my goat in my opinion, and he should be objectively the goat in my opinion. I think that he's the greatest of all time. I think we can all come to an agreement like that when it comes to basketball. Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player of all time simply because he achieved more than any player in NBA history Within 11 full seasons, he had had the most accolades in NBA history in, in a short amount of time. Six rings, six finals MVPs, never never took a finals game to a game seven. You know, best advanced stats in NBA history, the most ruthless, competitive, you know, fearless, uh, most intangible. In terms of intangibles, Michael Jordan is the best at this shit. So in every aspect possible in terms of intangibles and, you know, success within his career and Great individual performances, it obviously, and, and in playing in the greatest era in NBA history, it all has to go to Michael Jordan. So the goat in basketball for me obviously has to be Michael Jordan. I think some other person in this comment section asked me who's my top five NBA players of all time, but I, I'll get into that shit later, okay? If he actually asked that question, but I'm not sure if anybody asked that question. But Michael Jordan definitely is number one. But there's other players who are near his fucking level. But at the end of the day, nobody compares to Michael Jordan. So I think Jordan's the goat. I think we all fucking know that. So next question. Is by Bigfoot. Once again, you shout out to him. I, I support people who are sending multiple questions and shit. So he asked me, if you're comfortable telling us, please tell us your name. Okay, please tell us your name. I'm actually not fucking comfortable telling my name because I have a feeling. And I know this shit for a fact because there's like so many people who trolled me in the comments. Like, if I were to give out my actual name, people would try to dox me. Well, I did give out my fucking name. I believe in a Q&A two years ago in 2016, you know, some guy said that my name was Xavier because I had an X in my name, Mr. Saucman X, which the reason why Mr. Saucman X, the X is in there, it's in there is because X is my favorite fucking letter. But yes, X is the English version of my name and I already fucking disclosed that. So my real name is Javier, but I'm definitely not comfortable. So I guess you could say I'm not really answering this question because I am not comfortable telling anybody my actual full name because if I were to tell you motherfuckers my last name yo people would on the internet would try to dox me they'll try to find some random ass fucking record on the internet which you know discloses my personal information even though I'm not even a legal adult I don't I don't think you get your personal information disclosed if you're a legal adult is that the fucking case I don't think so so but I don't want people like I don't want my fa anybody you know who's a member of my family to get doxxed or some shit by you random ass niggas on the internet and you, if I were to give out my last name, you would try to d draw conclusions and find out where I fucking live. So I do not know. I do not want to give out my last name because I know people are going to try to fuck everything up. Try to do some identity theft or whatever. So I'm not telling you motherfuckers my last name. But yes, my first name is Javier. Which proves. Okay, this proves why I'm black. Why I am half black, half Mexican. Because of course I look black. And I have a Mexican name. So that fucking proves why I'm half black, half Mexican. But yeah, my real name is Javier. So huge shout out to Bigfoot. I think that's the last question he sent. I'm going by top comments. So that comment had four likes. Next question is by this nigga named Spider OH2. Now, I remember this motherfucker. I think he was sending me a lot of troll comments in the Q&A in 2016. But yeah, Spider OH2, you shout out to him because he's still watching my channel. Again, I respect anybody who, who watches my channel now that watch my old channel. So huge shout out to anybody who's doing that shit. But, um... Let's see, so Spider OH2, he asked me, who is the hottest actress? Who is the hottest actress? 
I do not have one, okay? I do not fucking have one, to be honest with you, simply because I do not watch television, okay? And I don't know if that's going to come to shock to anybody, but I deadass, I do not watch any television, I do not watch TV, I do not watch any movies, okay? I do not give a fuck about that. The only movies that I watch are fucking porn, okay? That's the only type of movies that I fucking watch, my nigga. So, in terms of television, TV shows, I do not, I do not... You know, do that shit so I don't even know any name of any type of fucking actress, to be honest. I don't know if that's abnormal, that I don't watch television, but I do not know. I only watch TV to watch NBA shit. Huge shout out to the NBA season, my, by the way. I, I might make NBA videos in the future, but I'm still debating on that shit. So, who is the hottest act actress? I honestly cannot answer that question because I do not watch television. I do not watch movies. But thank you for sending me the goddamn question. Next question is by this nigga named Kevin Miller. Okay, Kevin Miller. Never heard of this nigga before. Huge shout out to Kevin Miller. So he says, cussing way too much for a kid. Cussing way too much for a kid. Well, um, that's not even a question. Okay, you just sent a fucking sentence. Okay, this is a question and answers. So you're supposed to send a fucking question and not a goddamn sentence. I don't know if he was intellectually able to understand that concept. But he sends a comment, cussing is way too much for the kid, for kid, for a kid. First off, I am not a kid or I shouldn't, I feel like I shouldn't identify myself as a kid because I'm basically an adult. I'm 17 years old. I think 17 years old should be considered a legal adult because there's literally no difference from a 17 year old and 18 year old. So I'm 17 years old. I'm pretty sure I'm old enough to choose what words I want to use. It doesn't even fucking matter. Okay. And by the way, for the record, for the cussing thing, cussing is an illusion. There's no such thing as cuss words. Cuss words are just words in the English language that are overly fucking stigmatized. It's been overly fucking stigmatized by all of these people, all of these niggas. Overly stigmatizing cuss words from centuries, hundreds of years ago. And it's just words in the English language. It's funny how people say that, oh, since you cuss, you don't have a grasp of the English language or whatever. When it's like, nigga! What the fuck are you talking about? Cussing is a part of the English language. So why can't I not have a grasp of it just for using that, those words? It's just an illusion, okay? It's literally just a fucking illusion. So I don't think I'm cussing way too much. I'm just being myself. I'm just saying the words that I feel like I should say or, you know, just what comes naturally. There's nothing fucking wrong with that. So Kevin Miller, again, not even asking me a question, but that's perfectly fine. Next question. I said I'll read everything in this bitch. So next question, not even, oh, another one that's not even a fucking question, but he says... This nigga named Briss S. Huge shout out to Briss S. Okay, I never heard of this motherfucker before, but he's a, if you're a subscriber, huge shout out to you. He asked me, please make more NBA videos and videos about major things going on in the world. Now, this is actually a comment that I felt feel like I need to address because I, as I said, okay, I'm still unsure on what I should do with my YouTube channel in the future because as I said, I made an entire video about it. I, I basically said I do not... I, I basically said I am not sure exactly what I should do with my YouTube channel, and I'm actually debating on actually ma on making NBA videos, but I'm not, I'm not sure about this shit, okay? I'm not sure if I should make NBA videos, because I, I, I feel like if I do, I'm going to be promoting myself in a community that mainly dislikes me. I'm basically in a community where people do, you know, people hate me and shit, and if you look at my NBA videos, my shit gets way more dislikes than likes, so if I make NBA videos, I'm going to have to settle with a lot of dislikes, and I'm going to have to settle with a lot of people unsubscribing from my channel, but if it, if that's what it takes to stop this fucking, for, stop my videos that I'm actually trying to make, get no fucking views, okay, just because it's shadow banned, you know, maybe I might consider making NBA videos again, so I might do it, Brissess, and by the way, reading your fucking comment, you're probably a subscriber, so huge shout out to you, my nigga. So, and videos about major things going on in the world, that obviously means politics. I can't, I can't make videos about politics, because YouTube's gonna fuck over my channel again. So, no, I don't, I don't think I'll make videos about politics, major things going on in the world, I'm pretty sure they're the same in my opinion, or, you know, they, they, it's gonna be discussed in the same manner, so I really can't do that. So, NBA videos, they may come soon, but I will just have to see, I'm still debating on what I should do. That's why I'm doing this Q&A, to get this fucking channel brought together, and it's actually working pretty well with 40 goddamn questions to answer. But anyways, next question, you shout out to Briss S. Next question is Kevin Miller once again. So Kevin Miller really wants to send another comment. So he asked me, I'm not being a troll. It's not, okay, okay, we fucking get it. Like, okay, okay, I don't give a fuck. So he says, I'm not being a troll. Um, I never said that you were a troll, okay? Maybe, maybe this is your response to what you think will be my response in a fucking Q&A for me saying, for you saying that I cuss too much. But no, I do not think you're being a troll. I just think that you... Didn't really understand the concept of what a Q&A is, which means questions and answers. So, you know, you send the questions in the comment section and I answer them on a video. And you did not ask me a question. So, maybe, I, I just thought that you were a little confused and a little intellectually disadvantaged. But, no, I don't think you're being a troll, okay? I do not be, think you're being a troll. And I actually, 
support you, okay? Actually, actually, I'm actually giving you a shout out, you know, on video, and I'm giving you credit, okay, for, you know, bringing the channel together more by sending these comments that had two likes. So, huge shout out to Kevin Miller, okay, okay, I would just think you're a little misguided, you know, in what a Q&A actually is, I don't know if you can understand the concept of that shit, but, uh, uh, anyways, man, uh, let's see, next question, okay, I need to stop roasting these, but next question is by Spider OH2, once again, huge shout out to Spider OH2, sends me another fucking question, he asked me, have you listened to Rapping for Jesus? If not, listen, please. I have not listened to that fucking song before. I may actually check it out. Now that you brought up, I probably will check it out after this Q&A, but I might do it after the fucking Q&A, but I have not listened to Rapping for Jesus, so I, I'm pretty sure that's like a fucking Catholic song or some shit like that. I don't, I don't fucking know, but no, okay? I'm, I'm probably going to listen to it, but I'm doing a fucking Q&A right now. So next question is by Marsman. And by the way, my nigga, huge shout out to Marsman. Huge shout out to my nigga to Marsman because he's been a subscriber to my channel for a very long time. I think you remember him on my other channel. I don't even fucking know. So huge shout out to Marsman. He's been watching my content, you know, within the past few fucking, within the past year at least. So huge shout out to Marsman. Oh, man. So he asked me a question that had two likes. A lot of these fucking, why are the, all these fucking comments having two likes? People are fucking like spamming these niggas. <laughs> At least there ain't dislike spamming. Okay, so he asked me, what do you think about the whole Kavanaugh thing? Okay, the whole Kavanaugh thing. It, of course, it, it's obviously about politics, but all I have to say about the Kavanaugh thing is that I do not give a fuck. As I said, the whole, you know, political climate right now is just Democrats versus Republicans. Like, oh, who cares? And of course, a liberal, like, of course, like if a Republican Ka Kavanaugh or somebody that Trump supported or Trump endorsed is accused of rape, they'll just completely try to act like he's a fucking rapist and completely put put him in a negative light. That's what the liberal media does. So it's, they're, it's basically, it's basically something that, oh, shit, my laptop about to fall down. <laughs> but it's basically just what they're doing, okay, the media is going to do that regardless, they're going to try to, you know, make a big deal about nothing, so that's all the Kavanaugh thing was just making, and that's the whole thing about the Kavanaugh thing, he's just making a big deal out of nothing, it's like, oh, he's accused of fucking rape, we got to make a big deal about it, why didn't they make a big deal about Bill Clinton being accused of rape, they still don't, you know, they try to make it at least seem like Trump was a fucking rapist, when he fucking wasn't, like, this is ridiculous, so obviously it's the mainstream media being on some fucking bullshit, but I honestly do not even care about it, because it's just Republicans versus Democrats, considering the fact that the midterms are coming, so I really don't, I really do not care about the whole Kavanaugh thing, it's not even, it's just Democrats versus Republicans in the media, and, and, you know, YouTube is fucking up, you know, political shit, so I don't even give a fuck about that shit, so that's my opinion on the whole Kavanaugh thing, next question, huge shout out to Mars Man again, sends me another motherfucking question, so he asked me, if Tom Brady wins his sixth ring, will he be better than MJ? Um, I do not know. Okay, I do not know. As I said, I don't know what's up with... But I don't know what's up with these niggas. I don't know what's up with y'all niggas, but I do not know anything about football. I feel like I already disclosed that. But I do not know anything about the NFL. I do not know anything about football. I'm just going to say that if I were to make a guess, if I were to make an educated fucking guess, my nigga, I would say that Tom Brady will not be better than Michael Jordan because Michael Jordan... because. I mean, it's completely different sports, okay? You can't really compare them since they're in a different fucking sport. But Michael Jordan, okay? I'm pretty sure Tom Brady isn't as good as MJ. Or I don't think that... I think Michael Jordan is better at his sport than Tom Brady is at his sport. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it doesn't really matter. But at the end of the day, Tom Brady will not be better than Michael Jordan, in my opinion. Because quarterbacks as a whole... in my I don't know, maybe I could be ignorant to this shit because I don't know shit about football, but, you know, uh, quarterbacks, all they do is just throw the ball and run plays, and of course there's been some scandals about Tom Brady deflating footballs, and, you know, um, what was he doing, cheating, okay, the fucking team cheating, spying on other people during practice, so, yeah, I'm pretty sure that pretty much ruins his reputation right there, so, sixth ring, it doesn't really fucking matter, okay, it's a, it's a completely different sport, but no, okay, I think Michael Jordan was a much better, much full basketball player, Re it requires athleticism, if you want to compare a, a, uh, an NFL player to an NBA player that's in, of the likes of Michael Jordan, you at least have to, you know, take into consideration that, you know, all you do as a quarterback in football is just throw the football when Michael Jordan did way more. Or any fucking player in the NBA that's not a fucking center or a point guard does way more. So you can't really you can't really compare the two, but Michael Jordan is obviously way better at his craft and more genuine. And Tom Brady is just throws a fucking football. Maybe he's great at throwing footballs, but deflating footballs, no. Okay, that's probably not going to fucking work. So I think Michael Jordan was way better at his sport than Tom Brady is at his. And uh, there's probably other great, great quarterbacks. Like, what was this nigga's name? What was that nigga's name? Uh, Joe Montana or some shit like that? Wasn't he supposed to be the greatest quarterback in NFL history? I do not know. I'm just making fucking guesses of what other people have said. Goddamn, nigga. But anyway, so I can't really answer that question. I'll just have to say Michael Jordan. Next question. Spider OH2, once again. Once again in the comment section. Wow. Um, <laughs> he asked me, 
It's not even a question. It's a fucking sentence, but that's perfectly fine. Hey, you know, I accept anything that's said in this goddamn comment section. So uh, he asked me, listen to Very Super Famous by John Lejo. I can't even pronounce that fucking name. John Lejo. Listen to Very Super Famous. Um, oh, okay, okay, I, I'll probably check that song out. Or probably, and when I listen to songs that people suggest or listen to songs that I actually try to give a chance, I probably only listen to like the first three seconds of that shit and I realize that it's garbage. But I'm assuming that this isn't rap music. Maybe it is, but I never heard of this artist before. I never heard of the song before. But I will check that shit out, you know what I'm saying? And I'll give you my opinions of the shit if you really want me to give, if you really want me to give you my opinion of that shit. So, next question. Oh, man. Mm. So this nigga asked me, Bigfoot, once again, you shout out to my nigga to Bigfoot. He asked me, what's your favorite subject? Okay, what's my favorite subject? I don't know exactly what he means, but I don't know exactly what you mean by this and what's your favorite subject, but I'm just going to assume that you're talking about school. But at school, my favorite subject is no fucking subject. Okay, as I said, I already expressed it plenty of times. I want to drop out. I do not give a fuck about the school system. It's not even about drop out because dropping out is a shame label. Dropping out is a label to try to get somebody to feel like shit. Just because they're making their own decision, just because they're not making the general decision decision and, and staying in school and making their own decision for to better themselves. So dropout is just a shame label, just for people who don't understand your way of thinking, don't understand why you want to leave the school system. So it's I, I don't even want to call myself a dropout or, or someone that wants to drop out. I want to call myself someone who wants to move on from high school. So I do not have a favorite subject. I just want to get the fuck out of there. I do not give a fuck, okay? I just go through the motions and pass my fucking classes. I'm a junior in high school, even though I'm supposed to be a senior. I do not give a fuck. I'm just ready to drop out because I know what my dreams are and I'm not going to let the world manipulate, you know, my fucking, my viewpoints and what I want to do with my life and, not, and just because I'm not making the general decision to stay in school. So I do not, that's a little bit of a different backstory to that shit, but I, but I have no favorite subject. I have no favorite subject. At the end of the day, it's fuck school. Look, fuck the school system. So thank you Bigfoot for asking me that question, but I cannot answer that shit because I do not have a favorite fucking subject. Next question. Oh man, I mean, this is gonna be this is fucking amazing. I'm a, I'm actually I'm actually more hyped than usual because you know I'm getting so much fucking. I didn't expect to get this much goddamn questions. But next question is by Stevie Junior. What's the nigga's name? Stevie Junior is a Kevin Durant guy. The fuck? What kind of fucking name is that, my nigga? With <laughs> Stevie Junior is a Kevin Durant guy. Huge shout out to him because I think I've seen him in a comment section before. It's just that when I see people comment in my comment, I'm not really used to you know. I, I'm, I don't really look at their full username. I just see their profile picture and like, you know, kind of like scan, just like so kind of like remember their username a little bit. But Stevie Jr. is a Kevin Durant guy. Sent me, are you proud? Okay, he asked, he asked, how, he asked me, how are you, are you proud to be a Trump supporter? I am not a fucking Trump supporter. I feel like I've already disclosed that plenty of times, but I am not a Trump supporter. All I know is that I do respect Donald Trump as president. I'm glad that he's president, and I respect all the success that he achieved in his life, and I hope he wins the 2020 election. And he's obviously going to win the 2020 election because no other fucking candidate has any chance. So I'm, I'm, am I a proud supporter of Donald Trump? I was a proud supporter of Donald Trump in 2020. In 20 in 2016, but right now I'm not really a supporter of Donald Trump. I just respect him. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's good enough. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, I can't really answer the question, but thank you for asking the question. Stevie Jr. is a Kevin Durant guy. Weird ass fucking usernames. What kind of, what kind of shit is that? No, I'm just playing. But anyway, so next question. Damn, I have like seven minutes to record and I'm about to get through. Oh, never mind. Okay, I thought I thought that I was going to get through the top comments already. But I obviously it says show more, so I have to fucking do it again. Okay, read more goddamn comments. But I have like seven minutes to record. Hopefully my camera doesn't cut off on me. If it cuts off on me, it, I'll just do a part two and delete some shit on my camera roll. So anyway, so next question is by Spider OH2, once again, sending another fucking comment. You shouted to Spider OH2. So he asked me, he does, it's not a question again, okay? This is like the second th time, third time, where it's not a fucking question. He just asked me to read, uh, listen to song, but that's perfectly fine. But he says, Celtics versus Rockets, NBA Finals 2019. I fucking wish, okay? I fucking wish, or I don't even wish it, you know what I'm saying? I think this guy's a Rockets fan, I think I remember him. I think he's a fucking Rockets fan, so of course he's wishing that the Rock. but no, okay? We already saw the fucking game last night, okay? We he said the comment five days ago, but I'm making this video today, and last night, Houston Rockets play like fucking shit, okay? They play like shit, they just choked, missing all their shots, literally had the worst defense in the entire, just... Awful fucking defense. James Harden's playing like fucking trash on opening night against the New Orleans Pelicans. Gets blown out of Laos. 120-something points on their home floor. Like, it's fucking sad. So, Rockets are obviously not going to make the finals as if they had a chance, but they always choke. And what's that nigga's name? What's that coach's name? Mike D'Antoni? Garbage! Okay, what an awful fucking coach. 
doesn't even know how to stop his team. Literally missed 27 straight three-point shots like no, okay? So the Rockets don't even have a chance. And as I said, I made an entire video. I made an entire 2018-2019 season prediction. And I basically said the Warriors are going to sweep everything. Get the shit out of the fucking way. Hold up. So, yeah, there we go. Like, going to get, like... Yeah, I predicted the Warriors basically sweep the entire Western Conference and sweep everything. So I do believe they have to choose a fucking... But I uh, the, I believe that the Rockets are going to make the NBA Finals. I mean, I believe the Celtics are going to make the NBA Finals, though. But they're obviously going to get swept. And I think the Celtics are actually going to cakewalk because the 76ers are overrated as fuck. You literally saw them on opening night playing like fucking garbage. Okay, they're pre overrated as fuck and all they're going to do is choke in the playoffs. That's all the 76ers are going to do. And the, and the Toronto Raptors, I mean, I, I think the Toronto Raptors have a chance. In the Eastern Conference, but it's just Kawhi and just a bunch of fucking chokers around him. All the players on the Raptors are going to choke like bitches, like they always fucking do. So it's like if you go that against the bunch of stacked players, stacked ass team in Celtics, they're obviously going to make the finals. But no, the Rockets aren't making the finals. No team in the league has a chance of making the finals other than the fucking Warriors. Or they get swept in the finals by the fucking... Yeah, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be over. So, I wish that was gonna case, but the NBA is really not even fucking competitive with the bitch-ass Golden State Warriors. So, anyways, no, I, I really doubt that's gonna fucking happen. I only have a few minutes to record. So, next question is by this nigga named Twister. I've never heard of this guy, Twister, but again, he asked me a dumbass... Well, I, well, I, don't, I wouldn't consider it a dumbass question. But he says, why do you cuss so much? How do I cuss so much? I don't really cuss that much. And again, cussing is just a part of the English language. I don't blame anybody who cusses too much. They're just being themselves. Okay, I'm just being myself. I'm just coming, you know, I'm just saying words that are fucking what comes naturally to me. There's nothing wrong with cussing too much, okay? There's nothing wrong with cussing too much, okay? So I do not cuss that much. And I don't think I cuss that much. Maybe maybe to you it's considering cuss that much. But at the end of the day, it's just an overly stigmatized, it's an overly stigmatized bullshit. That's all cuss words are. Overly stigmatized bullshit. At the end of the day, they're just words in the English language. So I cuss so much because I fucking want it. There's nothing wrong with that. So next question is by King Uzi TV. You shout out to my nigga King Uzi TV coming in asking me another question just four hours ago. I just answered his questions from like... A long ass time of last week, but huge shout out to King Uzi for sending me another fucking question. So he asked me, what do you think about EDP's channel being terminated? Last question, LMAO. Well, I had no fucking idea that his channel got terminated again. As I said, I'm just fucking glad. Okay, I'm just fucking glad. If you're actually right and EDP's channel did get terminated again... I feel like I really needed to address this shit, but I didn't want to do it because it was going to attract a lot of negative energy and a lot of negative attention from a lot of people who don't like me due to the EDP thing in the video that I made back in July 13th where I basically was just, you know, tro trolling this motherfucker and trolling his fan base. All I got to say is that I don't give a fuck about EDP's channel. I don't care about any videos that he makes anymore. I just want to stay away from his energy, and that's a big fucking point. In terms of EDP 445... Uh, it's channel being terminated. I mean, that's pretty fucking unfortunate. I really doubt it's terminated. I'm pretty sure it's just in a two weeks suspension or some shit. But if it actually is terminated and all of his shit's gone, I do not want anybody blaming me. I'm not trying to, you know, mention EDP's name again unless it's a Q&A. But I'm not trying to mention his name again. I'm not trying to give any type of negative energy because his fan base was very big negative energy in 2017. I do not want that negative energy to go into my channel again, okay? Because I think that the reason why my old channel was terminated was because a lot of EDP fans was flagging. So I do not want any type of negative energy from EDP. But what do I think about his channel being terminated? That's fucking unfortunate. Okay, that's honestly fucking unfortunate. I really do not care at the end of the day because I'm focused on myself more than I'm focused on anybody else. But that's highly unfortunate. I actually do feel bad for his channel getting terminated because how can you have 300,000 subscribers work your ass off for a long ass fucking time? I wouldn't necessarily say I'm a fan of his videos. I used to be a fan of his videos back like in 2013. But right now I'm not really a fan of it. I kind of like lost interest in it and I started trolling this motherfucker. So I'm not really a big fan of EDP's videos. I don't think he's that articulate. I think he cusses way too much. Whoa. I mean, I'm not really one to say that shit. But he, like, I've seen EDP shit lately, and this nigga, like, he cusses, like, after every fucking sentence, so it's kind of weird. But, you know, but I, it's very unfortunate. I actually feel bad for him, you know, if his channel actually did get terminated, but I'm not going to search it up right now, so that's all I got to say. I just don't want any energy from him. I do not want him to mention me. I don't want any of his fans to ever mention me again. I do not want any type of negative energy from him. So, anyway, that's what I think about EDP's channel being terminated. It honestly sucks. But, you know, this shit happened to me, okay? It happens to everybody, you know, because YouTube's guidelines are bullshit. And that's the core of this shit. That's the core of the fucking problem with YouTube is that YouTube's guidelines are bullshit. So anyways, I'm done recording part one. I do not want this shit to get 30 fucking minutes and not be able to fucking upload. I'll be pissed the fuck off. So all the people that did not get at that, their question fucking answered, I make sure, I'll make sure to have that fucking shit answered in the next goddamn Q&A. So...
Wait for fucking part two in this bitch. So, let me see if I can answer this fucking question. Kareem or MJ? Um, actually, I don't have any fucking time to record. So, anyways, Mars Man, huge shout out to you. You're probably pissed off since I just mentioned your name, but I'm gonna mention you in the very first fucking, yeah, uh, second. Very first fucking minute in the, in the second QA. So, anyways, man, it's your boy, the Salt Get the fuck out of your pants!